This video will walk you through one method for solving drawing 1-4 shim. Now the challenge with this drawing is to create the entire drawing by only drawing a fourth of it and then using the commands that we've learned to create the other three-fourths of the drawing. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a box around my overall size of my object. So I have a width of 7.50 inches and a height of 4.5 inches. 7.5, 4.5, C, enter to close that. And I'm going to break this up into quadrants so I know I only need to draw a fourth of it and then I can duplicate the other side of it. Let's start with our angled line here. We know that if we go down 1.12 inches, that gives us our starting point and we need to go upward to the left 60 degrees off of a line going straight up. We know that if we draw a line straight up, that's 90 degrees. We're going to add another 60 degrees, which will give us 150 degrees. So let's go ahead and move down 1.12, and we're going to go up to the left, tab, to jump over to my angle measurement, 150 degrees, tab back, and we'll just draw this long. Now instead of coming up here and using the trim command, I'm just going to type in trim, which will type that in in our command line and press enter, and press enter again. So once again, I'm backed out of that by hitting escape. I'm going to press trim, type that in on the keyboard, enter to select the command, enter again to select everything, and then just click on what you don't want. Sometimes it's a little bit faster to actually type in the command than to come up to the tool panel and look for that actual tool. Now let's take a look here. Okay, we have our center mark and we are an inch opening so we know we're a half inch on either side of that center mark so I'm going to come up a half inch and bring that in and the distance that we actually go in is 1.50 so let's bring it over here 1.50 and pull that down trim Alrighty, and the next thing we need to do is figure out how to make this middle piece and this is the challenging part because although we know the measurement is 2.12 square uh, so each side is 2.12. It doesn't really give us any exact location for where that's going to go. Let's go ahead and delete these lines here to make it a little bit clearer. And I'm going to draw on here. If we measure this here, we know that that is 2.12, that mark right there. We know that this is 2.12, this is 2.12, and this is 2.12. We also know that we have a center mark, and we can locate that based on our drawing, the center of our drawing. We need to figure out how to actually do this. Now, this is a 45 degree angle, and this is 2.12. We know the length of this side is 2.12, the length of this side is 
So the length of the middle is also going to be 2.12. Likewise, the length of the middle going this way, this line is also 2.12. Because we know that, we also know that if we just do one of these lines from the center point at a 45 degree angle towards the outside, this part right here, that's going to be half of 2.12 drawn at a 45 degree angle from our center point, and that's going to give us this point right here. So we're going from here to here, half of 2.12. 2.12 divided by 2 is 1.06. So we're going to go from our center point at a 45 degree angle, 1.06. Enter. So we're actually doing this on this side over here. We know that all of these sections are 1.06, 1.06, 1.06, every single one of these because it's half of this 2.12. So if I come up here at a 135 degree angle, which would be a 90 degree angle straight up, plus 45 is 135, and I do 1.06, I team up with my vertical line there. I'm going to go in and just type extend, E-X-T-E-N-D, enter to enter that command, enter again to select everything, and we're going to extend that line out. And then we can come back and trim off what we don't want. Let's get rid of this one, let's get rid of these, don't need these, trim these, trim these center pieces, let's take a look here, okay, trim this one, oh, this one's not connected to anything, so trim doesn't work, so we can just select that and press delete, select that and press delete, and this is one fourth of our drawing. I'm going to be using the mirror command, which was discussed in the previous video, to mirror this one-fourth of my drawing to create all of the other drawings. So I'm going to select everything, because all of these lines are the ones that I want to mirror. I'm going to come up here to my mirror command. I'm going to specify the first point of my mirror line, which is going to be my top point. And I'm going to specify the second point, which could be this end point, or realistically it could just be anywhere straight up and down. Select my second point, and the command line says, do you want to erase the source objects? No, I don't want to, so I'm just going to press enter. Then I'm going to do that again. So let's select everything. This time I'm going to type in mirror and it shows up in the command line. Enter, first point, second point, enter. And my drawing is finished.